Hey everyone, this is Chris, and this is the review of the Focal RC Tricopter. It's roughly a 300 millimeter airframe, so slightly larger than the QAV250 and Blackout Mini H Quad, um, which are both 250 millimeter. And the pilot right now is Flyhigh 117. I actually took it to him for the final tuning and testing. Uh, you can check out his channel for some awesome builds and uh, even a build service. So I will link that in the description. Basically here on the initial flights we were just testing the uh, agility of the airframe and rigidity. Um, because it is a very thin fiberglass frame we were worried about flex um, but we didn't really notice anything on it. Uh, that was a partial full throttle um, and we're just basically pushing it around seeing if we can get anything to flex or bend uh, and didn't have any real tendencies with it. It's definitely a, a solid airframe and flies really well. I'm definitely going to be picking up a spare one of these and uh, chasing around some mini quads because it's not much larger. So it's definitely an awesome airframe. Uh, right now we're actually doing a little bit more on the yaw testing here in a second. There it is. Um, just to see how the strength of that yaw assembly is. Um, when we first tested it we did have some issues with the uh, yaw moving too much. Um, that was just the gains, it was in the flight controller. Once we got that dialed down, the airframe really uh, calmed down and locked in. Uh, it's very fun to fly, you definitely have more yaw control than a quad, which is normal for a tricopter. But the only thing we noticed is uh, the tail motor gets extremely hot, but that's because we didn't have a uh, flight camera on it. We were actually just running without a flight camera just in case there was anything going on. I'm definitely going to put FPV gear on this and really see what it can do. Overall the frame is very light at 648 grams. Um, that's with the motors and a 2200 milliamp 3 cell battery. You can see that it's not too much larger than the uh, Blackout or the QAV250. The ESC strap nicely to the bottom and feed up through to the motors and the back can strap to the bottom and feed around the back so it doesn't have any interference with the yaw control. Overall the airframe is really nice. Um, you can check out here for some more information on the final flights of how everything got. Um, looking at the yaw motor here uh, and we'll actually drop down to look at the yaw ESC um, which is going to be hotter because I didn't have a uh, camera in the front to balance it out. Uh, my CG was slightly to the back. But even at that, the aircraft handled really well. It flew amazing. Uh, I'm going to be putting a GoPro on it and some uh, 5.8 GHz FPV gear and see what we can do.